Welcome to Mount Gookt in the heart of Englandishire. Today we'll be looking at Journey into Nyx. Cracking packs is always fun. Let's see what we get. Mm hmm. Okay. First card is Johnny's Presence. One drop instant striver Johnny's presence costs two and a white more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures get plus one plus one and gain indestructible until the end of turn. Awesome. Love this card. Great in draft. Haven't seen it played in standard yet, but loving it. Next card. Dreadbringer Lampads. It's four and a black. Enchantment creature Nymph. Constellation. There's the new mechanic. Whenever Dreadbringer Lampads or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains Intimidate until the end of turn. Intimidate is ridiculously strong in draft at the minute. Uh, more enchantment, more constellation. It's a Harvest Guard Alciads for two and a white. It's an enchantment creature, Nymph Constellation. Whenever Harvest Guard, Alciads, or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, prevent all damage that would be dealt to target creature this turn. I don't like it as much as the Deadbringer Lampads. Oh, Lampads. Uh, it's alright. Pretty solid. Rotted Hulk. Yeah, lots of different people have different opinions about this. It's just an elemental creature. Uh, three and a black. Uh, and it's a two-five. I think it's pretty solid. It kind of escapes quite a lot of the removal and it's in black so it's quite a nice card for black to have. Uh, yeah, it can do some work. I don't think it's seen much play yet though. Ravenous Lucrocotar. It's three and a green for a creature beast with vigilance and for six and a green it gets monstrosity three. Pretty crazy creature, especially in draft. Doesn't see standard play, not surprised. Much better cards than that, but in draft, amazing. Here we go. Flurry of Horns. It's a sorcery for four and a red. Put two, two, three red Minotaur creature tokens with haste onto the battlefield. Uh, that's crazy. Not just one creature, but two with haste. Four damage, turn five. Yeah, and two things for your opponent to have to deal with. I like this card. A lot of value in that. Supply Line Cranes. For three and two white, you get a creature bird. It has flying, and when supply line cranes enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. It's a two four flyer. Can become a three five flyer. That's awesome. Aerial formation. Whoa, new cards, nice and slippy. Aerial formation. Uh, it's a one blue instant. Strive spell. Aerial formation costs two and a blue more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures each get plus one plus one and gain flying till the end of turn. I played against a blue green deck the other day in draft and this card just, oh, terrible. And I also think that this guy is going, ouch, pointy. Yeah, value card. Gluttonous Cyclops. It's a six drop which can become an eight seven. <laughs> Font of Fortunes. You can pay two and then pay two again and sacrifice it to draw two cards. <laughs> hey, here we go. Some uncommons. First one is Blinding Flare. It's a sorcery for one red with Strive. Blinding Flare costs one more red to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures can't block this turn. It's a great combat trick for people splashing red or playing mono red. I think it's pretty good. Nightmarish End. Next uncommon. It's two and a black for an instant. Target creature gets minus X minus X until the end of turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. So something's going to get what, minus four, minus four, minus five, minus five probably. Um, yeah, pretty good removal. Black has lots of good removal. This isn't the best bit, but it's okay. Oh, I love this card. Colossal Heroics, two and a green, instant strive. Colossal Heroics costs one and a green more to cast for each target beyond the first. Any number of target creatures each get plus two, plus two until the end of turn and untap those creatures. Just awesome. Really, really great. You can tap out, untap the creatures, and they get doubled in size. Or if you're playing green, they just get a plus two, plus two. Uh, oh, it's 
gold, it's a full 7, hey we got a god, it's Crufix, yay, sweet. I have made uh, an awesome EDH deck with Crufix as my commander. Uh, Astral Cornucopia has definitely found a home. We got anything else here? No, we just got cards and stuff. Let's talk about Crufix though. Uh, he is... Uh, Crufix got a Horizons. Uh, Three and green and blue for a legendary enchantment creature god. He's mythic rare, indestructible. As long as your devotion to green and blue is less than seven, he becomes a creature. You have no maximum hand size, so uh, reliquary tower. Uh, if unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. In EDH, this is just funny. It's just super funny. People find it really tricky to get rid of him um, or her. Not quite sure if it's a him or a her. I guess it's a him. Um, and you just end up having so much mana. X spells, uh, yeah, all your hydras, all your big monsters. I think I managed to uh, monstrify Pelucronos the other day for uh, over 200, which just upset everybody around the table. Anyway, that's my uh, first cracker pack from the summit of Mount Goot. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully see you again sometime in the future. Cheers.